trying another camera setup today. Different mount, it's lighter. The other one was really heavy and flopping around. I got the cadet out again today. I also got that out. See if I can get some video of that. Uh, oh, let me set my timer. There we go. Kind of a pain to record. I don't know exactly what it is. I haven't got fully comfortable with it, but part of it is with the camera on your head. I have a pointer that points at the plane, and you have to use your ne head and neck more. You can't really follow it with your eyes, so it's a little unnatural. You gotta make sure you keep your eyes point it straight forward and move your head around so it's a little annoying I'm trying a 2x zoom again but with a different phone slash camera that I would like to become like my dedicated setup so we'll see how this works a little bit older phone, but it should still record fine. The wind's kind of cross-winded, but once you get behind these trees, it kind of dies away. So landing is, it's cross-winded initially, but and then it uh, goes away as soon as you start to land. So it's not really a big problem. The only problem with this field is the wind often does something funky down the bottom of that hill there. The wind rolls off the hill if the air is going down the runway. And you can actually see in the last video of this that it, uh, it disturbs the planes quite a bit. But yeah, I've gotten pretty comfortable with this. I've actually, this has got 3700 pack in it right now. So it's this lighter configuration, but I have flown the 5000 pack in it and it flies just fine with that as well. It just flies for a lot longer. I think I almost got nine minutes out of it with the 5000 pack. Um, it, I've played with the CG a little bit. Um, I kept going back, 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 back to the point where it was a little unstable on the elevator and I just, I moved it forward. Never where I was scared about the plane crashing. Uh, I'm almost like an inch behind where it technically is supposed to be by the book. Um, but it's just the wing design doesn't really work with inverted flight so the CG wasn't the fix but it was worth an experiment so I've moved it forward back forward a little bit now to be it's still behind where it should quote unquote should be um, but it's a lot more stable in the elevator because I like to have um, high rates for doing just that it tumbles really nice kind of just stops in place and tumbles around. Uh, roll rate's pretty good. But um, it's funny, when it goes inverted, I, it's just because the, the there's zero um, curvature on the bottom of the wing. It's completely flat bottom, so it just stalls, I'm pretty sure. like. It's not a weight problem. It'll hang there, no problem, like minimal, minimal pressure. But if you push forward, that's full forward. It just doesn't want to go. The wing just stalls. See if I could do it this way. So it's inverted. It's minimal pressure to hold it there, but push all the way forward, it just stops. And if you give it enough power, it'll go around. But again, it's a not a, an unlimited aerobatic plane. It's a trainer that I 
sport it up a little bit but it does everything else on the positive G's really nice it really pulls nice tight loops it's a little tricky to snap again because it's such a flat bottom wing so sometimes you really got to work at it to get it snap but when it does snap it's pretty nice and I'm not even using full wing aileron right now I'm just using outers barn door style I do have differential on everything. I think it's 30 or 40 percent on the differential, which is kind of like my go-to. Go-to amount of differential, but and it doesn't require a ton of rudder. I mean, it has some adverse yaw, but it's not like out of control. That's with no rudder. Not crazy. So there's no uh, no outside loops in the future for this thing. That's that's uh reserved for the decathlons because Satabria behaves the same way my red Satabria that I got it does not like to play inverted at all Timer's almost done. It's a little bit shorter flight. I kind of rushed it. I didn't let them get fully charged, but do a slow flyby here. Sun is again the worst this time of day. Can't wait for the time to change and get an extra hour and. I also found out with this Hobby Wing ESC that the thing I didn't like about it was the adaptive, adaptive coast or adaptive something. Um, and it acted, so I turned that off and that was the first flight or second flight with that off and it was much, much nicer. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. It's 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 uh, just a great toss in the car. It's not too not too big, or toss in the truck per se. So we'll see if we can take the Aeromaster out for a couple flights and uh, see if the video comes out. See you on the next one.